The Newford Suckler Farm is a demonstration farm here in the west of Ireland, where most of the suckler cows of the country are. And the objectives of Newford Farm is to demonstrate that when all the good technical knowledge is applied on a commercial suckler farm, like a good grazing management, good breeding, good financial control, that it can give an adequate return for to give a viable farm income on a farm of a scale of this, which is approximately 60 hectare farm or about 150 acres. So the farm here has approximately 100 suckler cows that calve compactly in the spring in February, March, and rears a continental cross weighing link throughout the grazing season. And the animals are then finished the following year at about 18 to 20 months of age at the end of the grazing season or at the start of the following winter. Okay, so that's the system. All the male progeny are carried through as steers, the female progeny are carried through and slaughtered as heifers at the end of the second grazing season. The cows here are unusual on suckler farms in the west in that they are Angus and Hereford cross cows from the dairy herd, selected for having very good maternal indexes, good milk, good fertility. As I said, they calve compactly. We use all AI here on the farm and all the breeding is to high index, high terminal index sires usually Charlie limousine sires okay our target is to finish our steers at as I said the end of the second grazing season or the start of the second winter at approximately 350 kilo carcass and our heifers at 19, 18 19 months of age at about a 310 kilogram carcass the other unusual thing about this farm it's a hundred cow unit with all the progeny carried through to beef and it has one full-time farm manager who operates the farm our target is that he will, we will generate enough profit from this farm that will give an adequate return, which we set as the average industrial wage of approximately 35,000 to the farm manager. We have no single farm payment here on the farm. We don't have a land cost, but we have significant debt on the farm associated with setting it up back in 2015.